What's up guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a basic Cinema 4D intro. Uh, this will probably be targeting the people who have recently got Cinema 4D or who are just finding it hard to get to grips with the whole program. However, if you're familiar with the with the interface, you know, you, you can always pick up some things along the way. Uh, so just keep watching and uh, I think we should get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a floor. Now this is what the text is going to pretty much be on. This is going to be the floor of the whole the whole scene really. And then if we add a sky as well, like so. And we're just kind of creating the basic scene. So now we want to add some text, like so. And just type in your desired text down here in the attributes panel. I'm going to write tutorial. Spelled it wrong. There we go. Change the font. So choose what font you want. I'll pick what font to pick. There we go. I'll choose this with bold italic. Depth I'll change to 100. Like so. I'll maybe add some caps, like fillet cap and a fillet cap. And just lower them down, not, not up, to about 3. So it's 1 3 and 1 3. Now this just basically gives it rounded edges so it's not so harsh on the sides. So just put that in the middle of the plane. If you go ahead and click this button here under character and dynamics, it will just give you a basic render, like what, what it'd be like when it's rendered. And actually that's all right, you've got your text. However, you've got some gray floor and the text color's not very nice. It's a white with a not very decent gray with black. Um, so what we're gonna do is if you just go to render, render settings, and if we go to output 1280 by 720 for now, that'll just create the HD if you add it into another project. So now what we could do is we're going to add the materials to the text. So just double click in this space down here. And the first one I'm going to add is a dark grey. Now the second one I'm going to add is I'm going to add a gradient to so go to texture and gradient. Now on the gradient, I'm going to, the left colour is going to be in fact, I'm going to have a kind of nice green, kind of a light green there. And then maybe just a bit of a darker green, you know, just to create a bit of contrast. And go back onto the color just by clicking it. And under texture, click on the arrow again and go to copy channel. And under luminance, go to paste channel. Make sure you have luminance ticked. Now you need to go to reflection. And just go to add reflection so it's a bit glossy. I like to lower the brightness down to zero and add a Fresnel as a Fresnel. I believe gives it a better finish, but then also probably have about 50%. So now drag that one on the text and the black one on the text, and you'll notice that the, it's just the black showing. So click on the black text and on the right here, and you'll see the selection tab. Type C1, make sure it's in capitals. Clicked off it, so then I'm in capital C1. And you'll see that that only applies to the front face of the text. So now if you go ahead and render it out, you see that you got some quite nice looking text there. Now, one thing I like to do is I like to add in like an ambient occlusion. Uh, to go to render settings, effect, ambient occlusion, maximum ray length to 160, and I like to add a bit of contrast, about 35. Now, this will slow down the render time, but it gives a lot better a lot better result. It creates realistic shadows. So, just rendering out here, and you see you got some glossy light text. And it, that looks a lot better than it did before. However, it just depends if, if you want to make want to make it look probably a bit more professional. Uh, you'll have to make the render time be slower. Uh, it's all down to what you want, really. Add it up here. Yeah, now, if we just add the sky, sky material and the floor material, I like to just go to luminance. And like so, so it's all white. Drag it on the floor and drag it on the sky. And one thing that you could do, just say this renders too fast for your liking. Uh, you could just add a global illumination effect and global illumination. Now this is commonly known as GI. So if you're watching another different tutorial, and uh, you see GI, it will be global illumination. That's what it stands for. But you see there's all these dots here and it's just about to render it out. In fact, I need to take off these materials for it to work. Render it out again. There we go. And you see that it'll be grey 
and it does take a lot of time, a lot of time to re render. Um, I probably recommend don't using global illumination or both of them anyway when rendering a movie uh, because as you see here, this is only rendering one frame at the moment and it's it's been going for 20 seconds nearly now and it's not finished yet. Uh, so coincide that with about 200 frames and you'll be there for a long time. But you see if you're making a background image or something or just a picture uh, you see that the result is looking quite nice and just kind of glossy and it just looks quite pleasant. Uh, so go ahead and add a light, drag it up and like so. I'll go to shadow map soft and I like to change the color to I changed like a light green, like so, and I lower the intensity to about 60 something percent. About six, yeah, there we go, 60 percent. So now, if we go ahead and render it out, yeah, it would take a while again, but you know, that's what you have to put up with. Uh, so, what we're going to do next, we're going to just add a basic camera movement. So, you know, you can just follow the camera and it's just a basic Cinema 4D intro, like so. Now what the kind of green light did, it kind of made it so the the text is actually kind of glowing out more. So on the floor there's like green on the shadows. The shadows are kind of like light green. So it kind of brings out the idea that they're reflecting. You've got these shadows here, which is looking quite nice. Uh, but now that's looking good, so we go ahead and add a camera. So go to the four lights and go to the camera. And now you want to go to the cameras panel here, scene camera and camera. Now set your keyframe to where you want it to start to be like. So just moving over here. Gonna have the first keyframe, maybe not so much of a tight angle, like so there. So on the first keyframe, just hit this little stop, well the key button, and then go to where we want it to stop. For example, 60, and you know, we get it higher and get a different angle on it, different perspective. So it kind of just flows past the text and then it hit keyframe that. So go back to the beginning and play that and you'll see that it goes up and it comes back down. And that is the basic Cinema 4D intro. Uh, to render this, go to render, render settings, under general, full render, output, 1280 by 720, frame range. I needed 0 to 60, so you go manual and 0 to 60, or you can just choose all frames. Save, you want to save it as a quick time movie, I recommend. And the file, just type in there what you want, the, what it to be called and where you want to save it. Um, options, visualizing, yeah, that's probably about it. So go then, go ahead and hit shift and R, which renders it, or you can go to render to picture view, it's up to you. But no, thanks for watching this video, how to make a basic Cinema 4D intro. Uh, please remember to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye.